All right, I just paid my toll and I'm back on the road. Let's see if we can... All these merging traffic here. All right, let's go here. And now we're going to get on the... Actually, it's a pretty big bridge coming up there. I'm going to get back in here. be on this left lane. So now we're going to get on this long bridge. It's, you know, it's a few miles here. It's saying... 11 miles Pinellas Parkway, 15 miles I-75, so just got to keep uh, going straight this way up the way. We're going to Clearwater anyway. But, and I'm going to be, I'm still on the 275 northbound. But, so as far as uh, 45 ACP versus 9 millimeter, uh, I mean, it's just pretty much common sense if you look at the two bullets. 45, heavier bullet, a little slower, Got a lot of uh, kinetic energy. Nine millimeter, lighter bullet, a little faster, less kinetic energy. I mean, it's just the way it is. Less potential. And kinetic energy is the energy it, it hits the target with. You know, so there's less. And um, myself, I just, you know, I just prefer, I just really prefer uh, the 45. A lot of it's going to depend really on the end user, the person that has the gun. You know, what do you like better? Uh, you know, what what are you more comfortable with? Uh, you know, what do you shoot better? I'd recommend every shooter that goes out and uh, gets a gun, you know, whether you're going to have concealed carry, whether you're going to just you know have it in the house for defense, whatever you're going to have it for, uh, shoot it. Check. Check it out. Try it out. Now, I don't know if you can see here part of the bridge we're coming up on. On the right here, see that bridge? We're going to be going over that big bridge there. You see it there? I don't know if you can see it in the distance. But that is the Sunshine Bridge. Now, what happened, um, the other bridge is gone, and I think it was a, I, I think a ship hit it. And so now it's just called the Fishing Pier. Uh, so there's the North and the South Fishing Pier now. On the other side of this, where people fish, the bridge you see up there, they made a new bridge. I don't know what year they rebuilt this bridge, but this is the St. Petersburg, uh, this bridge. And going over this takes you into St. Petersburg. Uh, you know, I like the bridge. I mean, I don't mind it. It, it cuts a lot of time. But man, if it's real windy out, or it's crappy out, raining, it's painted the butt here. And I'm going 63. You've got people walking over this bridge at 80. And it's pretty, it's pretty windy. There's some white caps out on the water. So, uh, but you see entering Hillsborough County now. So, I'm not, I just get a little scared going over it myself. Because <laughs> I got my little Nissan Sentra, and my tires ain't the greatest. So, I, I'll go 60, 64, 65. But that's about it. Plus, you know, it's better on gas. But now we see we're coming up to the bridge here. We'll be going over this while we're doing our driving. But, uh, like I say, the 45 ACP versus 9 millimeter, uh, you know, you, you have a lot of plus and minuses. Most manufacturers of guns will make 9 millimeter and 45 ACP. I believe Springfield XDS, which is a nice little gun. It's a polymer gun, little, little light. And I mean, with a 45, it can, it can feel the recoil. Uh, but they make a 9 millimeter, and I think they make a 40. Now. But uh, small pocket pistols like that, if you can get one, and you can really deal with it. I get the heavier gun you can, and uh, you can even get them compensated or ported. There's a lot of companies will go ahead and port the barrels on your guns. Uh, they will, um, you know, add some ports on top of them for like $100, $200. And it'll make your gun a lot more manageable uh, with the porting on a 9 or a 45. Or really any gun for that, even for revolvers and pistols of any caliber, really. But uh, there's, there's a few companies out there who will do the work. But I wanted to go through this, and uh, you get to see a little bit of nice scenery. Coming down uh, off the bridge now, that is St. Petersburg in front of us over there, pretty much. Uh, 
uh, like I say, on the left there, I don't know if you can see part of that bridge. That's part of the fishing pier. That's the other part of the bridge that, that used to be there. I think something hit it, a big boat or something like that hit it and it ran into it. It had to be a pretty damn big boat. I'm not sure what happened there. It was a hurricane or something ran into it. But I thought I heard something ran into it and destroyed the bridge. So they had to rebuild it and build a new one. So they just rebuilt this whole bridge that I just went over and built a whole new bridge. But I've got about 22 more miles and um, I think I'm going to take another, there's another road that goes even further over the Clearwater. It's another like 12 or 13 mile road. This does save a lot of time. Thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, you know, feel free to comment. Hope you like the video. And tell me what you think about 45 or 9 millimeter. And tell me why you think the military changed over to 9 millimeter. And why certain departments in there, like special forces and stuff, are still using 45. I mean, they use other guns too and stuff, probably five sevens, all this other crap. But uh, uh, they just ordered 100,000 Colts. And that's not going to the servicemen uh, with the boots on the ground. That's going to your special forces officers and things like that. And the regular guys got the ready 9 millimeters. So why are they getting it? Why did they order uh, you know, 100,000 Colts? But thanks a lot for tuning into my video. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, hope my uh, subscribers are all having a good time. And please leave a note uh, if you find this video entertaining. Thanks a lot.